You will want to be Potas, and for easiest results, you're going to want to fight Terran. The map I chose is Blistering Sands because it's a small map, there's only one spot in which the enemy can be located, and there's also some space in their base to do this strategy. You're going to want to gather resources and set a waypoint for minerals as quickly as possible and start building more probes. While doing this, you're going to take one probe and send it to the enemy's base. As the probe travels, you're going to want to build until you hit 9 supply, maybe 10 on bigger maps. The first thing you're going to want to build is a pylon in their base. Right after you start building the pylon, build your last probe if you haven't already, so as to reach 10 supply. You have to make sure to build your pylon far enough away like I did here, or else when you build your forge, the computer will send their SCVs to destroy your forge slash pylon before you finish. Once the pylon is done, you're going to want to build a forge. Continue building more probes till you hit 14 or 15 supply. But make sure to use Chrono Boost to get the probes out quickly. Once the forge is up, build your cannon somewhat close to the base so you can start attacking a few things. Not too close or they may attack you with SCVs or Marines. You can now build another set of pylons and some cannons. Use our current cannons to protect these new cannons. Once the second wave of cannons are up, you should be putting on enough pressure to cripple the computer to where they will surrender. Once they surrender, that time will be the lock-in time for your achievement run. With this strat, even a novice can get this achievement done in under 5 minutes.